And now let's do problem 31 in page 92 of this Seagull's biochemical calculations. And the problem asks what's, what are the final hydrogen ion concentration, the pH, of a solution obtained by mixing 400 milliliters of 0.2 molar NaOH with 150 milliliters of 0.1 molar phosphoric acid gives the pKa's, okay, we want the hydrogen concentration, the pH, again, that's a mixing here, and the mix is 400 milliliters of 0.2 molar sodium hydroxide and 150 milliliters of 0.1 molar phosphoric acid. The problem also gives the pKa's, which could get in a table. Uh, the pKa's is given for phosphoric acid, the first one being 2.12, the second one be 721, and the third one, 1232. So that's what we got from the problem. 1232. So first, let's approach this. These are the three. These are three protons, right? And three pKa's. Let's work this problem as approach as a dilution first. Let's work on the dilutions. Let's dilute by just the effect of dilution. Uh, start with NaOH. NaOH was initially 0.2 molar, but the, since you mix it up with 150 milliliters of something else, that's going to dilute it. We are initially not even looking at the reaction. So we use the form M1V1 equal M2V2. We have 0.25, 400 milliliters. And the molarity phi now, uh, just consider dilution. And 150 milliliter was added. So that's now 550 milliliters uh, is the final volume. So the final molarity is going to be for NaOH. The final molarity without any reaction, okay? That's the way that we approach this kind of problem. Let's calculate in here. Give us 0.145 molar. It diluted, right? Decrease the, the concentration. Let's do the same thing with phosphoric acid now. So phosphoric acid, we start with 150 milliliters, 0.1 molar. It's going to be diluted. It's going to be much less than that, right? Okay, same same principle. We apply the form M1 V1 equal M2 V2, 0.1 times 150, M2 times 550, right? Because we have the uh, addition of uh, the two solutions, 400 and 150. So uh, we plug in these numbers here. Then we calculate the M2 is going to be 0 0.027 molar. Okay, so now we have to wait to, uh, to stop here and think a little bit. We have 0 0.145 and 0 0.027 molar of phosphoric acid. But let's remember that phosphoric acid is, has three protons, right? Okay, so let's first consider complete removal of protons phosphoric acid so in that case all the protons available if you are, if you were to remove all of them would be 0 0.027 times 3 because there are three protons in the molecule right so that would give us 0 0.081 so that case is very easy because in AOH is in excess over phosphoric acid for all the protons. So NOH is able to remove all the protons available. If you were the other way around, a little bit more complex, we'll deal with that later. So the concentration of NAOH uh, would be in excess, the equivalent of NAOH. So 
if the NOH is in excess, it's going to consume all the protons derived from phosphoric gas, and it's going to remain as an alkaline solution, right? Still, still left over of NaOH. So we initially had 0.145 of NaOH, but it's going to use up 0.081 uh, to neutralize the protons from phosphoric acid. All protons from phosphoric acid. So it's going to remain 0.064 molar. That's the residual concentration of NaOH. Now we have the concentration of hydroxide, so we can calculate everything that we need in here. The concentration of hydroxide is the same as the concentration of uh, sodium hydroxide, it's a strong base. So the concentration of hydroxide will be 0.064 molar. And the pOH, therefore, is going to be minus log of the concentration of uh, hydroxide, which is minus log of 0.0064. And I plug in this thing here, gives 1.19. That's the pOH. Double check that, it's exactly 1.19. Uh, so now we have a pH then equals 14 minus 1.19, right? Because the two of them combining is 14. So therefore, the pH is. 12.81, which makes sense because uh, alkaline solution, right? Now we can calculate the concentration of protons having the pH, 10 to the power of the minus pH, which is 10 to the power of minus 12.81. If you plug in this in the calculator, you get the concentration of protons directly by plugging 10 to the power of a negative 12.81, which gives 1.55, 10 to minus 13 molar. We had the pH, and now we are getting here 10 to minus 13. That's the concentration of protons. So you answer the two questions that were being asked in the problem, pH and the concentration of hydrogen ion.